Hey, you like Konami? Sure, doesn't everyone? They're one of the beloved video game publishers. Well, on the PlayStation 2, they made a game about fighting some fires. It's Firefighter FD-18. This came out in 2004. You never forget. Burned into your memory. They haunt you endlessly. That is why I do what I do. Goaded by the familiar sound of the alarm, I rushed to the scene to extinguish the fire. But maybe what I'm really trying to do is extinguish the memory. Yeah! He's trying to put out the fire in his psyche. I keep saying to myself, she is alive. Somewhere. She vanished in that fire six years ago, leaving only her red slipper. I don't know, maybe? It's Firefighter FD-18. So, all right. Um, weird thing, looking at the description of this game on Wikipedia, it says the plot of this is from the movie Backdraft, but this is not a movie tie-in game. Also, Backdraft came out in 1991, so this came out 13 years later. Konami just wanted to make a Backdraft game, and, like, they just slapped an original name on it. Apparently, I guess? Uh, let's see. And subtitles are on. Let's, uh, let's fight some fires and see if we can put out the ultimate fire the one in our soul. We'll play on normal. I, I don't know anything about how to play this game. We'll learn together as we try this out for an hour. She's just getting in our way. Oh, rookie? Yes, I'm new at this, but we're doing our job. Just the same as you. We play an important role. Don't say casualty. I'm here to rescue every single person who needs help. Never, ever say casualties. Mm. Oh, this journalist. Just doesn't understand the fire that exists in his soul. He has to save everyone. No one's dying today. Not like her. There's a tanker close by, and we're worried it may explode. I want you to rescue whoever's in danger. That's it. Now get to it. I also noticed she was wearing red shoes, just like we saw in the intro. My mission is to rescue all survivors. Locations of survivors are on this map. There's one, like, directly in front of me. All right. Hello? Hi. I'm here to save you. The okay. Survivor's life. Okay, looks like they have full life. Whatever it takes, rescue them before it's too late. All right, hello. Should I pick you up? Okay, no, I'm not going to fireman's carry you. You're just going to run out of here. I shake your hand, and then you run. Okay, good. Find more survivors. All right. Can I use this hose? 
can crouch. Let's see. I can kick. Whoop. I pulled out a gun and shot the fire. Can I do that again? Yeah, but I, I, I only have one more of those left. I'm holding a hose. Can I just, like, spray the hose? Press R1 to discharge water. Okay. I thought I was, but... Maybe I wasn't able to right, until right now. It just wants me to do it here. What mastery these simple techniques? I'll be fine. Hello. You rescued me. All right, out of here, you. Help him. All right, so they're different nozzles. Here's a narrow. Keep the tanker from exploding. Okay, so narrow. Oops. No. Looks like narrow does a better job of putting out fire directly in front of me. Oh, he's fine. Got the wide nozzle out. Wide nozzle does not seem to be that effective. I don't know. We got to... Oh, there's like a, a health drink? Help her. Drink. Hello. Damn, how many vehicles are involved? Oh, okay. Oh, oh no. Well, that survivor didn't even say anything. Did not even thank me. Are you going to thank me? Am I just, like, absorbing them into my body? I'm sorry, but you, you have to become part of the fireman's body mass now. It will allow me to rescue more people. You understand. It's nothing personal. so much smoke like red smoke comes out of the car when I spray it I appear to be running oh, okay there we go should I should try to get in here there's some stairs right there hello survivor Who did this? Are we uh, are we saying that this is this is arson? We have reason to suspect that. Watch out for explosions. Hey, over here. I know. Your health is doing okay so far. I know there's still survivors around who need help. I'm just, like, working my way around to get to this survivor. Hurry up. I know. I know. Survivor's right there. Some fires are hard to get rid of. I need to rush through some fires. Pay attention to differently colored fire. Recover my HP when I'm in a safe area. Okay, are we talking about this fire right here? If I'm on fire, move left analog stick back and forth to shake it off. There we go. So are we saying that I can't actually spray this fire? This is not going to work? Seems not. All right, I'll run through it. Ow. Hello. That's where I was. Guess I should go back up these stairs. Okay, the door right here. 
Kick it open, that's right. Crouch when smoke is dense, which is L2. I will have more visibility. Okay. Oh, something over there. Got something. Oh, I found a cell phone. I found someone's lost cell phone. Why do I need to find that? I don't know. Is it just a collectible? Possibly. the stick. Hello, sir. <coughs> Too, pain Too painful. Mission cleared. Nine unharmed people. 24,080 extinguish points. And that's our tutorial mission. Oh, no. There's more tutorial. Get rid of obstacles with the axe. Press select for equipment and R1 to use axe. Look at that badge. Uh, let's see. That's okay. So I have the hose right now. Here's axe. Help him. I mean, yeah, I'm doing it. Okay, I can't break that. Let's go back to here and. Okay, so that is a health drink. Equip that. You know, I never heard of this game. I mean, I, I guess a firefighter rescue game is not going to be like that big, but it is, Kana it is Konami, and Konami was a big publisher. I'm kind of surprised I never heard of this before. Too painful. He just can't take it. Any, like, bonus collectibles over here? I don't see anything floating around. Hurry up. No, they've got... They got... Oh, well. About to say they have time, but... Can they get around that? Oh, yeah, there we go. Wow, you were a lucky survivor. That was close. What was your first hint that this was an out-of-control blaze? Oh no! This place is collapsing in on me! But we cannot leave before the job is done. Remember, no casualties. None. Never say casualties. If you say casualties, I will kill you. Never say it. Working on it. Working on it, sir. Working on it. Who did this? Damn! Am I Dean? Yeah? There are four people trapped inside. Oh no! The explosions! Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, ma'am. Ma'am, I just need to take a swig of my reliable health drink. Gulp, gulp, gulp. What about another one? Mmm. Very important, ma'am. Almost. Thank you. I'm on fire, but I saved you. There we go. Unharmed four. Extinguish points eleven thousand six hundred ninety. Help her. Right. That's what we're here. Oh. 
Aha! Saw it coming this time. What is this pipe that's shooting fire? What's in the pipe? It's... Why is... <laughs> Why is it shooting fire? It's not connected to anything. Can I get, like, around the other side of it? I'm gonna have to go for it! I thought it was over. Like, we're all wondering how something like this could happen. We have no answers. Alright, time to go. Do you copy? What is it? We found out the exact number of people trapped inside. Sorry, it's just an explosion. There are two people. Two people trapped inside. Two trapped inside. What is this? First aid kit. Speaking of which. Oh no! Speaking of which, I should probably tend to my wounds. There we go. I can't walk over there, I don't think. But that's like a red flame. I can't put it out. Okay. Will that work? Oh, that's that's like a named fire. Is it like a named enemy? Yeah, it has hit points. That that fire has a health bar. Taking so much damage. Not good. When is this going to end? Any more explosions in this tunnel might cave in. Yeah, and it's on time. You killed the fire. Did it roar? Did that fire roar as it died? Has the rescue team completed its job? This tanker, it doesn't look good. I need backup! Ah. Alright, come on, Survivor. Oh, you were not with me that whole time. It's Blackwell. Not Blackwell. Don't you know him? He's an up-and-coming senator, young and prominent. I think you were with me when I saw him on TV. Let's get him out. Grab that side. Okay. Huh? Not the young up-and-coming Senator Blackwell. All right. We rescue... Oh, there was one injured person. Right. So there was one person that I got there. Like, their health was extremely low. So... One person is injured. Uh, I got 11,860 extinguish points. Is that the entire mission, or...? Okay, no, no. We're, I think we're done. I think this is the cutscene. We rescued the VIP. Okay, cut. 
Thank you. You saved my life. What's your name? McGregor. Hey, McGregor. You'll be fine. We're the only ones with a pre-rescue clip, right? Yes! Perfect! It's a scoop. <laughs> that D. McGregor is pretty good! Is the cameraman gonna go for erotic points? The cameraman, I feel like, was not showing enough initiative. I got a medal. Sure, let's save a game. So this certainly is uh, a take on firefighting. Where are we go? Where is it going to be going next? It was an arsonist. Firefighter. So you're the one who saved Blackwell. The idiot who ruined my plans. The place is set. Are you ready? Of course. You're very considerate to have chosen the port area, Mr. Murphy. Don't you ever say my name over the phone. You never know who might be listening. Relax. You know me. It's impossible to wiretap my line. I'm not willing to take any chances. Don't screw anything up. See you at the party. <laughs> the party. <laughs> so, you think you can get rid of me at the party? You better think again. For you, that hardware is a double-edged sword. Ow! I'll make you pay for this. Every real party needs a good party trick. Oh, he's scarred. From the the fire all those years ago. Powered by a young and talented workforce, Cyclone Networks has been attracting attention in recent years as the fastest growing computer hardware manufacturer in the nation. Most of the Cyclone employees who work in this building have been safely evacuated, but we have reason to believe that a few are still trapped inside. This is a computer hardware lab. There's chemicals everywhere, so be extremely careful. Some of them are explosive. What ke what chemicals are we talking about? The lab. So pay attention to airflow. Now, rescue those survivors. ASAP. Got to watch out for the chemicals. All right. Do I need to get my axe out? Chop up these cardboard boxes. Can't get past them. I don't suppose there's any, like, collectibles in them. Does not seem so. Okay. Survivors over behind me. Help him. This fire sure is spreading. Must be all the chemicals. Oh, I died. Not even someone with the fiery soul of passion was r completely resistant against real fire. Okay, let's not do that. So there's a survivor to the right. Help him. I'm trying, but my, my hose... Did not seem all that effective here. Let's keep back, maybe. 
Well, no, I can't really keep back. This fire is just creeping forward. Somebody must be trapped around here. Yeah, I know. I got it. Yeah, I can, but this fire is weird. It's like not going out. Okay. Hello. Yeah, what is it? The exact number of people who were trapped inside? Inside. <laughs> yeah, we just established there are six. Damn, these boxes are in my way. I can't believe I'm alive. Huh. Help her! But yeah, the boxes are in the way. Gotta use my axe. Seems like I'm not okay. Fire spreads real fast. This computer lab really needs to store their chemicals better. No, there's a lot of fire in the way. Thank you for saving me. Dave, do you copy? We found out the exact number of people Dave, trapped inside. Right here. Don't worry, your hunch is always 
turn out wrong. There's some electricity going on there? over the by the wall for a second. See that fire went out real fast. Saving me. Watch out for explosion. Mm. Kick the door. The door's right there. Yeah, thank you. Throat. I can't see. My throat is so sore. It's blocking my vision. Okay, six unharmed people. Help him. Does a little something. Never actually meant told us about that like super attack we have. Does a little something, but not enough. Do I need to go around? It doesn't seem like this is going out. It's hot. Uh, yeah, really. I can't believe how hot it is in here. Working on it. What's going on? Talk to Dean, do you copy? We found out the exact number of people trapped inside. Or three up. Oh. I was about to say, looks like it's pretty easy to get to this one, and then explosion. was somebody there, I guess. We'll never know because we died. Throat, I can't see. Do you copy? We found out the exact number of people trapped inside. There are three people trapped inside. <coughs> Why? Okay, let's go in here.
Well, I don't know about that. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I'm I'm getting over there, slowly. I'm still alive. Wow, there was like an exploding oil barrel right next to you. Good thing I got there in time. Exact number. There are six people trapped inside. The exact number, which changes every time. Well, I mean, I know technically we're in different levels, but you think that we'd be talking about the entire building? Oh no, boxes that are on fire. We have both box and fire to deal with. I need to extinguish the boxes, then switch to axe, then destroy boxes, then, then, then switch to hose. And switch to axe. I like how it says that as we walk into an explosion. Oh, wait. Well, you see, you were in a building that got set on fire, is how it happened. I mean, I guess that sounds obvious when you say it like that. I guess I can't get the fire out from in front of that door. I have to go around. Too 
Okay, mission cleared. Six unharmed, 21,130 extinguish points. You know, I think that if I were to read uh, the manual for this game, something that I would be interested in is if it could be specific as to which nozzles are appropriate for what configurations of fire, because you have the wide nozzle and then the narrow one. And like sometimes one works better than the other for different situations. I think I would probably want to have some specifics on that. I don't suppose there's like... Okay, good. Good, I was about to say, I don't suppose there's like a first aid kit around. Help her! Nobody there! Oh. Oh. Look out! Oh no, is this a boss fire? It is. Boss fire time. I'm getting hit with so much fire. Or, what? Was it? Was it electricity? There was like something moving around that was hitting me. I doubt clearing up the fire before the fight would help. Because the explosion probably, you know, just creates a whole bunch more. But, you know, let's see. We have unlimited water, so why not? Which is kind of weird when you think about it, is how does this hose extend just anywhere we need to go? Just everywhere. Alright, yeah, there's like electricity in here. What is that? You see that? No, it's not. It's like purple fo- it's moving around the room. What is that? Purple fire. Can I put out those moving fires? Is the water working on them? What is that? Okay, it does vanish. Do they come back? I don't think they're, like, leaving permanently. And, like, the boss is shooting fire along the ground. Like, I can go over here and, like, spray that down. And do damage to it. Well, like, I... Hmm. I'm not sure how I'm avoiding gonna avoid the damage from like everything else in this room Spray the center of the fire. Look I know that much man. I know that much. Can I tell you about the weird like purple fire ghosts that are in here? Can I tell you about them? They're following me man. I'm not imagining this. I know you think I'm hallucinating this cuz of you know what happened all those years ago. But I'm telling you, man. When is this going to end? These are fire ghosts that are following me around the room. Is this going to turn out to just be in our mind? Our traumatized mind is imagining the fire ghosts, the roaring fire monsters.
did it. Two missions completed. There was no like big VIP at the at the end of this one. I don't know, maybe we rescued the CEO at the end or something. It didn't mention it. Maybe maybe there's a cutscene that will tell us more. I rescued all people unharmed. I got another medal. Beginner, Point, uh, Port Serena Fire Department. We have information that there is one person trapped on the third floor of the West Building. Oh, we're still in this building. Exact location. Find and rescue that person. I thought we defeated the boss fire. You may be able to use the heating ducts to get around. All right. Well, there are still people to be rescued in here. And as a firefighter who refuses to believe in the word casualties, we can't just leave him here to die. Those would be casualties, and there is no such thing as as that. We never say casualties. Actually, there is no door that leads to it from there. Yeah, the door's back here, isn't it? Oh, we need to find a key card and then come back here. That's why it started me off looking in the different direction, because we do have to go this way, but just that we have to come back. Oh, there's a key card. It's giant and floating and rotating. Key card. Move. I know, I see it. I see that health bar. I used the key card. Oh no, it was too late. You disappoint me. We heard the screams of all the people we ever failed ringing through our head. As we collapsed. We couldn't... We couldn't bear to face... Our failure. We decided that we would let the fire take us in that moment. others who need help as well. That's the vow that we took. No one knows about it, but we vowed that if we ever lose anyone to the fire, we will surrender ourselves to the fire as well. It is only right. It is only just. While our commanding officer on the radio says, You disappoint me. Like, maybe that's- maybe we should be doing that later, Chief. Like, after the whole fire thing's over. You don't have to, like, say that on the radio while we're still in the burning building. Too much, I can't take it, but I'll, she will. She will take it. 
I don't suppose there's like a health item around. It's like a large room. Is there anything like floating? Oh, I can stand on these on like a table. Doesn't seem like there's like a health item in here. Go up right here. All right, I'm looking at the map just to make sure. It wants me to go back up that hallway. We found out the exact number of people trapped inside. How many? It's two people. Two people trapped inside. There are two people. Okay, never mind. That green arrow on the map is not pointing towards this. It's pointing to, like, the room over there. I don't suppose we could use that. Does not seem like it. Not like a prompt or anything. I mean, this is the other side of that wall. But it doesn't seem like there's like a prompt to use that. Fortunately, the next survivor seems to have quite a bit of health. Go up right here. Oh, that. You mean the big arrow pointing towards that, I see. Go up right here. We pull the hose through this with us. Quite a versatile hose. Go down right here. We did it. Two people, unharmed. that I, I enjoy the fire and boxes I enjoy this combination right here That, that looks like a door, right? Okay, no, no, I can't. I was having trouble going through that. For some reason. The ceiling's gonna collapse! Yes! Over here! I'm safe! 
Well, I don't know about that. There's a lot of fire in front of you. you seem to have a little trouble putting it out. Okay, there we go. I'm saved! Thank God! Thank me! Copy. We found out the exact number of people trapped inside. There are three people trapped inside. You know, I, there's like a bunch of doors where we just kick it open and run through. And whenever whenever we do that, something that just comes to mind was in the movie Backdraft. There, like, the the movie is named after the concept of a backdraft. I re it's been a long time since I've seen that movie. And I remember in the movie they do explain what a backdraft is. In which you shouldn't casually open a door in a, burn in a burning building. But I guess let's... Not worry about that. Just kick it open. It's fine. It's fine. Nope, that's wrong button. Hey, there's no fire in here. What's going on? Hey. <coughs> uh, <laughs> watch out for the explosions that are happening in your face right now. You see those explosions? They're like ha they're like right you're in them. Watch out for them. They're bad. There's like a healing item or no, it doesn't seem like it. Doesn't seem like it. Hey! Yeah? What? I mean, if that's your attitude, I can just turn around and go. Mission cleared. Help her! Green, do you copy? How many people are in the build? How many survivors are there? Oh, that's a locked door. Gotta find a key card. There are four people trapped inside. Where could a key card be? Here's a meeting room. Key card? Anyone seen like oh there's a health item anyway, that's good. I mean that's it's good that I came in here then for that. The map doesn't... 
Hey, something... That was one of those, like, fire, like, shot attacks that went along the, the ground. The map doesn't seem to indicate... Oh, there's another health item. That's good. Like, the map doesn't show where items are. So it'll direct me towards people. There is a green arrow, but I don't know if that is directing towards the key card. Like the first time there was a key card, I don't think the map actually indicated where it was. I hope, like, the key card isn't, like, in the middle of this room. Nobody here anymore. Search another area. Oh, yeah, right. This is the key card door. Right, exactly. Well, no. I'm kind of burning alive here. Have any other health items? I do have this one. I'm here! This way! Alright, I have to bash these boxes before I can get to you. And put out the fire that's in front of you. No kidding. But what's really important here... Spark drink and soft drink. What do you want some... You want spark or you want soft? Which one you want? I think I could go for some spark right now, honestly. Did I just like slip on oil? Yeah, that's what's that's what's happening. I'm slipping and sliding. There's the key card. Give me key card. Give me. Jam door. Oh. This is not key card door, this is jam door. What do I do with jam door? Can I axe it? No. Is there like a vent I can go through to get into jam door? Well maybe when maybe if I go into key card door. Maybe there's a vent in there that could go to jam door. Uh, was key card door back up this hallway? Oh. Oh, this is where I came in. Watch out! 
Boss time. Angel Flare? It has a name? Yeah, it's like, it's, it's not like. You can take the word like out. Am I okay? No. No, I am not okay. Are you seeing this? There is a literal fire monster in here. It's got like hands. It's got hands, sir. Hands. And with that, he fell. Dean fell to the hands of Angel Flare. And I think that's it for our hour-long look at Firefighter FD-18, which ended up being a lot a lot more interesting than I thought it would be. It's on the surface, it's, you're a firefighter. You have to put out the fires and rescue the, the people. And it's like, okay, that's what we're starting off as. And then we get to fire monsters. We get to fire, which is apparently alive, and have its own, that has its own health bar, and roars at us, and now they have actual names. Um, and do they exist, or do they just exist in the twisted psyche of Dean, who is tortured by the loss of the one he loved to a fire all those years ago, which was hinted at in the intro? Um, and, and, what of reporter? You know, reporter who is reporting on these fires and the heroic firefighter who is saving the people in them. Uh, what? It's, she really hasn't done much. Like, she isn't doing much. She's just standing outside and saying, and like then they show a clip of, of Dean. She's kind of on the side. I mean, like, we're, we're in the building with our infinite hose, our infinitely long hose with the infinite amount of water, uh, just attempting to kill fire monsters. And like I said, honestly, it's, it's more interesting than I thought this was going to be. And like, there's some sort of overarching story about, we saw an arsonist sitting in his, his, uh, lair cackling about the arson he's going to commit and cursing Dean's name for getting in his way. Uh, so clearly this is going, this would have a long involved storyline about the arsonist. And why is he, why is he, why is he starting these fires? What's the reason? And can Dean stop him uh, while also getting over his feelings of guilt for whatever it was that happened those years ago. Can Dean overcome the external threat of the arsonist while also overcoming his own internal threat, which is that he feels that he is responsible for, some, for the death of a loved one? Either way, remember, no casualties. Never say casualties. That is a word that doesn't exist for us. No one dies. Some people might get injured. Like, if we rescue people but they're injured, I, I guess... I guess we can live with that. But no dying. If someone dies, then we die. We cast ourselves into the fire and say, Lord, please take us. It's our time. Um, a more interesting game than I thought it would turn out to be. I'm trying to figure out, though, what would AI-generated Rock feel about it, though? How would he feel? I think, uh... I feel like this particular, this particular face here...
I think this particular face kind of works. It shows the rock, AI generated rock, is determined. He is ready to go. He is making a vow that he will not lose anyone to the fire. Um, this is not, this is not happy good time AI generated rock. This is serious. It's time for business AI generated rock. He wouldn't be able to put on the firefighter uniform. Uh, we we did have a discussion prior to trying this game about how it might be possible. Uh, that one's titties might prevent you from putting on the firefighter uniform. And if that happens, well, you're just going to have to go topless. The Rock is used to that. Uh, he spent his, his WWE career not wearing much. So he's used to that. Um, he's going to head in there and he's going to rescue all the people and get all the key cards and kill the fire monsters. I just, I'm curious to know if, like, the fire monsters are actually part of a story or what. Or is it just like we're fighting fire monsters and that never really gets addressed? I don't know. I don't know. Either way, this has been our look at Firefighter FD18. A firefighting simulation on the PlayStation 2 by everyone's favorite company, Konami.